I'm Jesse Waters along with Judge Janine Pierro, Kevin Walling, Katie Pavlich, and Greg Gutfeld. Five o'clock in New York City, and this is The Five. Kevin, why are the Democrats so afraid? I mean, why does Kathy Hochul have to have her moment of uh, her, her deplorables moment and call the Republicans clowns? I mean, you know, it's a race. Well, I mean, this Democrat is just a little afraid sitting next to you. Uh, <laughs> For one, uh, but I'd say, listen, I, I'd love to see uh, Donald Trump campaigning in New York, in New Jersey. Ronald Reagan last flipped uh, New York back in the 80s. Um, so please spend all of your time and resources there. Democrats are solidly united behind uh, Joe Biden. You know, he's at 76 percent, I think, in terms of the primary voting universe. Uh, according to Morning Consult, Donald Trump's numbers are still up as well. So I think we're looking uh, at these national polls through uh, kind of uh, partisan bifocals here. So hear that New Hampshire voters know differently because they've been playing in this. That seems like ominous news for Republicans. It does, Jake. And to your point, it's not just that they've been paying attention. They've also been inundated with those ads that most of those battleground states are going to see uh, come November, framing this argument between uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Nikki Haley is out there with ads right now comparing the two of them and that it's a time for change. And we'll see if that resonates uh, with voters in New Hampshire with four days right, to go. Quick winners and losers. Kevin, you start. Winner and then loser. I mean, the, absolutely the winner is Kamala Harris. Uh, unified uh, the Democratic Party in under a week. $150 million raised uh, likely by the end of tonight. Uh, she has all the delegates she needs heading into uh, that August 7th deadline. Loser, J.D. Vance. Every, everyone's uh, questioning uh, some of his previous statements. A lot of problematic uh, issues around the, on the, the vice president's report. How can there be any question about how these Americans feel when we see things like that? Well, listen, I, you know, I'm one of the Democrats on Fox News. I believe in communication and reaching out and engaging. And some of the most authentic conversations I've had with people are people who watch Fox, right, who, who are grateful to hear a different perspective. And I engage with those folks. I, I will never attack a, a voter for Donald Trump, Nikki Haley, whomever. I will gladly take on their policies, right, and fight every day against them. Uh, but I think, I, you know, I'm a Democrat that wants the biggest tent possible. I want to reach out to, to disaffected Trump voters, to independents. That's how we win again as Democrats, like we did in 2020, and not castigate anyone. I'm marrying a Republican next month, right? So, I mean, it starts at home for me. And How's this going to work? He didn't say he was actually going to vote for Mike Johnson for speaker, but wouldn't vote against him. Is this going to be an attendance thing? Do you have Democrats actually exercising? It could very well be, and, and all indications are, you know, Hakeem Jeffries had our conference uh, yeah. breakfast uh, today, kind of talking through that, kind of holding our powder dry, I think letting this play out on the Republican side and letting those dynamics uh, be what they are. Uh, but I'm with Ashley on this. I'm actually proud of the speaker as well, speaking as a Democrat, that mm -hmm. he has made a commitment uh, to bringing these bills up uh, for a vote. And we see that reflected in the polls. You know, I'm a Biden guy. You know, I, I yeah. love the guy. I was probably one of the only millennials to, to support him uh, in the primary in, in 2020, knocking on doors in, in Iowa and in New Hampshire. So this is this is tough for me, right, personally, um, seeing this play out. Uh, but polls don't lie uh, in terms of what we're seeing. And, you know, first up, Memorial Day weekend is here, folks, and you're probably hitting the beach and you know what that means. You're going to need a bigger boat. We are going to need a bigger boat. It is shark season, but should you really be freaking out about these chomp monsters, or is the panic just a cheap rating stunt by our own producers here at The Five? Experts are warning of an increase in shark activity along a popular Memorial Day weekend spot in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. But according to PETA, more humans have died, actually, from attempting dangerous TikTok challenges this year than from shark attacks. Go to the resident shark advisor here, Greg, for your thoughts. Last five governor's races in Kentucky, the party that has won right before that presidential race has also won the White House. So I'm feeling pretty good, not just about Kentucky, but Ohio, Pennsylvania, one of the other three commonwealths on the ballot. We won a state Supreme Court uh, seat there, uh, which will be critical for uh, you know yep. election-related uh, concerns moving forward. So this is a huge night uh, for Democrats, no matter how hard the Republicans try to tell you differently. And states that matter. You concerned? No. Come you on. Got a lot of work to do. No, listen. You know, You're concerned. You can no, say. No, not because no, these polls don't mean anything this far out. Yeah, you can talk about trend lines and stuff like that, but we're going to beat the hell out of Donald Trump again with billion dollars worth of media campaigns. We're going to remind him of his four years in office before the American people. There's 40 percent of Americans that love Joe Biden. There's 40 percent of Americans that love Donald Trump. The 20 percent is who we're after, and we're going to we're going to win those folks back to our side.
you can't possibly be unconcerned. No, like yeah. Republicans, you look you look at we, that. We had well, the so best. Me, we had the best. When people vote, we win. We had the best midterms of any election since FDR. Right? We just won on all these abortion issues as okay. we were talking about. So That's going to be the, the the race this cycle. Tell me what you see. I actually am with Kevin. Oh, okay. Um, all right. I'm, am I wrong? Am I, I being too hard on Kevin here? So, but I think to Kellyanne's point. Democrats will win if it's a referendum on Donald Trump, and we need to focus on that. The president, in that address with uh, in that interview with Lester Holt, talked about you know the former president's own language, right? When he talked about a bloodbath for the economy, when he talked about uh, pardoning uh, pardoning January six uh, violent mob uh, members. Um, so using the president, and when in fact he again could not name a major leader uh, of a foreign country that we deal with on a regular basis. You say? I mean, Laura, what you said in the intro is right. I mean, this isn't a new story with the president. Go back to his years in the Senate. He would confuse names. He would confuse dates. That's nothing new. It's nothing new in American politics. You know, the shot. president had all major police chiefs to the White House just last month. Violent crime is across the board down in most major cities. Uh, and that's something we need to talk about, certainly uh, as Democrats. The, the, listen, the, the highest jump in the homicide rate, the murder rate in this country annually, happened in the last year of the Trump administration, it didn't happen in any of the Biden uh, years over these last three years. So again, the president is running on his record. Donald Trump is now, is a different situation than 2016, has a record he's got to defend as well. I, well, as we know, and Mick knows well, you know, uh, 100 plus days is an eternity in politics, right? We had many October uh, and November surprises over the last couple of cycles. Uh, so uh, this has been actually a great convention, speaking as a Democrat. The Republicans are fairly united uh, from all factions uh, of uh, the party. We'll see if President Biden can do the same thing in just over a month in, uh, in Chicago. Uh, but it's certainly a much higher uh, problem coming out of uh, that, that debate. You know, the campaign has said they've had some of the best grassroots fundraising hours of the campaign. I'd be interested to, Dana made that point earlier in the program, be interested to see how much they That's raised. True. He was on the ground uh, in Raleigh. He spent uh, hours last night campaigning again uh, in Georgia before going on to North Carolina. But optics at the end of the day are everything everything. And he's got to have State of the Union Joe Biden every single day for the next 129 days. Listen, Hunter Biden is not on the ballot. You know, Joe Biden is on the ballot and Donald Trump is on the ballot. One of those individuals, as we know, is a convicted felon. The other is not. And that's going to be the process that plays out in the next five months for the American people to decide. Fox News polling actually shows some wind at the president's uh, sales. The fact that now he's leading the former president mm -hmm. by two points. The first time we've seen a poll uh, where the, the President Biden is leading the former president uh, since last October. And more importantly, he's leading with independence by nine points uh, in that uh, poll. To Francesca's point, with so many people's uh, minds made up, those independents are going to be who actually makes uh, the, the, the next president uh, take office uh, next January. <laughs> the president is fired up. He gave a great speech. Dark Brandon showed up last year. I think he's going to bring it again this okay. year. The jokes were funny. That Lauren Boebert joke. I like, like he was Boebert on fire. Was, that like, took a little while I like to the get Boebert the joke, joke a little bit in terms I, of the let's, theater. Let's look at the Lauren Boebert joke. Yeah. We have it right here. Congressional Black Caucus, which is the core of my party, right, mm -hmm. uh, along with the Hispanic Caucus, have met with the president. They've uh, endorsed him, re-endorsed him. There's a lot of energy uh, behind him for that. I think to Jesse's point, you know, the process has played out, right? If you have folks coming in last minute, 14 million people voted. Now you can say really wasn't a primary because no one else really ran against the president. Same with, uh, you know, Trump when he was up for re-election. He had some challengers uh, back in 20. Uh, but he has cleared the field. It's his to win or lose. Going into uh, going into November. Yes, and we agree with you. You're on my team now. I heard. We want an engaged citizenry. Uh, we want people showing up. We want people knocking on doors, going to rallies, engaging in the political process. And as the the President Biden said, that spot at that dinner table will for, forever be uh, gone because uh, of this assassin's uh, bullet. Uh, so this is a horrific event. Uh, I am so encouraged by uh, what the former president has said publicly in his interviews and his tweets calling for unity. Uh, I think this is a real moment. The former president, the president spoke, the first lady and the former first lady spoke. Hopefully we can continue to have that atmosphere uh, uh, proceed in the next couple of days here in Milwaukee and throughout the rest of the campaign. Um, would that person be making much headway against the person who, who wasn't there, the front runner, Donald Trump?
Well, that's a great question. And you see, uh, you know, right following the debate, nothing has really changed in terms of the dynamics. I think what you saw, you know, two kind of key things are uh, what I found fascinating is that this Google searches for Vivek Ramaswamy, who is this guy, yeah. right? So there is an interest. He's on the ground back in Iowa uh, this weekend, larger crowds. Let's face it, interestingly none enough. of us have heard of him six months ago. Exactly right. Yeah. Um, and Nikki Haley, right? Her mm -hmm. uh, team releasing the fact that she raised uh, more money than any other day uh, since she's announced her race. So those are two kind of key indicators. Now, does it mean a whole heck of a lot compared to Donald Trump and his continued uh, standing in the, in, the, in the Republican polls? Probably not. So I got married in February. The one thing I've been tasked with is writing the thank you notes. Uh -huh. And I think we have a year to do Wait, it. February? This past February. It's almost July, Wallen. Well, the notes haven't gone out yet, Why but if you're watching that? at home, thank you if you were at our wedding. That, that a counts. thank you note is coming. That counts. There you go. Thanks for that the counts. blender you don't have to and do the it. toaster. Yep, exactly. That's, That's like a reply use. all. Yeah. Done. Blanket. <laughs> when you do it on TV.